Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, our last break to unlock that Otani promo. That's gonna be in the video after we do this break. So this is 2024 Bowman Chrome Baseball, HTA Choice, 12 box, pick your team 20. And that's what we're giving away in the next video. The Otani Super, another homer for him today, a game tying homer in the ninth, which set up Mookie Betts and he uh, hit a homer as well. Gave the Dodgers a win. All right, so we'll do that randomizer in a separate video for Pick Your Team 20. Big thanks to this group for making it happen on a Sunday, Sunday the 22nd. Appreciate you. Triple last spot mojo for Steve. He got the Diamondbacks, Astros, and Giants. And there's everybody else right there. We did this one, last one straight up, no filler. Appreciate you. I was on the cusp of putting those final three teams into a filler, but I feel like it would have would have been easier just to wait to see if a few people would get those teams straight up, and one person did, so life is a little bit easier for us. I always appreciate that. Andy's saying that card goes up in value every day that time. What do you think that what do you think that's worth? Let's play the what's it worth game. What does everyone think? When we started this promo, when did we, do, I don't know, when did we do our first break of this? I think we may have started this at the beginning of the month, September 4th, I think is when we got our first order for Pick Your Team 1. All right, that's when we started pre-ordering. This Bowman Chrome didn't even come out until the 11th, I think. So we started our first pre-orders there. I think we had estimated at $3,500, $3,500. We're generally a little conservative on those on those valuations whenever we do those giveaways. We don't want to over, you know, oversell the giveaway. But that was way before 50-50. You know, and now 50-50 is a reality. And counting, he's still still hitting homers, and he's going to steal some more bases before the season is out. Here's Blake Dunn. Dunn, 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 Dunn. That's going to be for Sean and the Reds, who just fired their manager earlier today. Here is Vladimir Asensio, 8 out of 99. Green Lava for Boston, that'll be for D.Y., Then we've got got Purple Chrome, Blake Dunn, 168 out of 250. That is for Sean Maddock and the Reds. There's our first three. So Andy's saying, pristine production Super Factor time just sold for 6,300. So and he's thinking around that. David's thinking 8K. So think about that from our original sort of low estimation of 3,500, right? 3,500. Now David's thinking 8,000. I think midway through the promo, we were kind of looking at similar sales. And I think we had kind of thought in the middle of the promo, we had thought maybe this is probably, this might be a $5,000, four or $5,000 card. There's Guillermo Williamson, last spot mojo, Steve. Steve Moser with the Giants. Nice. We've got Rowdy, Rowdy Rodriguez, three out of 99 for the Angels. Green Lava for Mark and the Halos. There's Jordani Monegro, 12 out of 250, purple chrome for DY in Boston. Yeah, I can imagine. The last two weeks, this stuff has skyrocketed. What's the ball worth? Ball 50. Is it worth less 
because he's hitting more? Or is it still going to be something because 50 is still that nice round number? And even if he has 54 homers and 55 stolen bases, we'll always call it 50-50 club, right? Apparently, the guy was offered... The guy was offered like $300,000 for the ball. Allegedly. By, I don't know whom. Maybe the Dodgers organization. But I think he turned it down. He thinks it's going to go for more. Here's Johario Cuevas for the Mets. That's for Luke and the Metropolitans. But I wonder, is the 50-50 ball as iconic as like Aaron Judge's like, you know, record setting ball? Here's 48 out of 150, Will Bush. But this is though the first time anyone's done 50-50. Here's Miles Naylor. Will Bush is going to go to Steve and the Strohs, his other last bot mojo team. Josh and Bo's brother, Miles Naylor, will go to Tristan and the A's, 200 out of 299. I wonder if it would be cool. I mean, some super collectors got to try to pair. Yeah, he is very collectible. It's true. So what's that ball worth? Million dollars? Yeah, you think Acuna's season when he did 70 stolen bases doesn't get enough recognition, yeah. Because we as humans, we like 50-50, 40-40, like, you know what I mean? If it's like 40-70, it's like, oh, that's kind of a weird, because humans, because we're, we're dumb, Reza. Because <laughs> we're just like, ah, it doesn't roll off the tongue as nicely. There's Brooks Brannon for the Red Sox DY. That was an incredible season, though. There's Victor Hurtado for uh, for Jane and the Nats. You know what we got to do is we have to make like we have to make like the 100 club happen. Something like that. Where 100 home runs, a combination of 100 home runs or stolen bases gets you in the 100 club. It's a marketing thing, I think. I think and then people would be like, well, I mean, Acuna is like 100, 110. He's, he's well into the 100 club. There's Milo Rushford, 48 out of 499. Although, would Otani's totals be more than Acuna's totals at this point? Royals, Jimmy with the Royals. And we got a fourth, Jerron Elkins. It's for Jimmy and the Dodgers. And through no fault of his own, because you know Acuna didn't change the rules, but I think with more people stealing more bases, that's why that's why Acuna's incredible season doesn't get as much shine nowadays. But he won an MVP for it, though, right? I think maybe he did get the recognition, or maybe not the historic recognition. Are we just prisoners of the moment? We're just like, well, what has Otani done for us lately? He's injured and Otani's banging away at 50-50. Here's Alexander Albertus. No, I think I think Acuna's season was pretty incredible though.
Here is Gabriel Lara, 89 out of 99. That's for the Yankees, Aaron. And there's Gavin Dugas, 65 out of 100. Mini diamond autograph for Jane. You know, I feel like with Otani's well, there'll be a lawsuit with the fans who caught it. He stole it, he stole it off an 18-year-old kid? I don't remember the lawsuit. I, I, I do remember there was a lawsuit with the Bonds baseball, but I don't know what it was. I think authentication is, was an issue with the Bonds ball. So whenever, so remember when Judge went off, was going off on his historical run, every time he came up to bat, they mixed in, they put out previously like already authenticated baseballs or there was like a different stamp on the baseball that would, so no one can pull a switcheroo, obviously. So, so I think that ball Maybe because of the Bonds lawsuit, any historic baseball like that, I think, uh, I think end, ended up with, um, you know, ended up stamping the baseball so they can be quickly identified and then officially authenticated. Oh, so apparently an 18-year-old kid had it and the other guy was just stronger and got it. Yeah, what, what's the ruling on that, Reza? That's really interesting. What's the ruling on that? Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, if it was any other foul ball, it w wouldn't matter, right? But it's not any other foul ball. Ooh, nice, they run Lorenzo. That's going to go to Jimmy and the Dodgers. So, I mean, are we just going rules of the jungle? Finders keepers. There's Yudrick Profar, Yerkson's brother, 90 out of 150. And there's Emil Morales, two Dodgers in this box, 122 out of 299. Oh no. So that kid's dad is a lawyer? That'll be really interesting. Yeah, what are the... Uh... <laughs> no, but so, what are possession rules in... You know, we're in the football season, we're talking a lot about possession, who has possession, what constitute possession. What, what, what is possession? Did he have possession and then he just lost the ball? At what point do you have possession? If it's in your pocket, is that possession? And then stealing from one's pocket, that would be stealing. But as long as it's your hand, you're fumbling around. How many seconds do you have to have the ball before it's possession? At some point, there has to be possession, right? If I have this, you know, for more than a second or two, and but someone can't just snatch it from me and say, now, now it's mine. At what point does it become stealing? If this goes to trial, I will be riveted. I don't know what, where if court TV still exists, but they should bring it back just for that trial. I want to hear people argue about what is possession in a when a in, when a loose object when a loose sports ball goes in tight in the stands. There's Dominic Patelli. Reds, that'll be for Sean Maddock. Here is Vladdy Guerrero. Yes, another Guerrero kid. That's for the Mets. That's going to go to Luke. And we got Curly Martha, 204 out of 299. Speckle autograph for Eric and the Rangers. I'll have to I'll have to try and find try to find the video, try to find some angles. And we can all be, you know, armchair lawyers. I put put my 
Joe Esquire hat on. Instead of my coach, coach, this is Coach Joe. I got my Coach Joe hat on. I got to put my Joe Esquire hat, Joe Jaspi Esquire. <laughs> Look at all the angles, like the Zapruder film. And as you can see right here, the ball, the baseball moves back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. There's Pablo Guerrero. That's for the Rangers. That's for Eric. That's the other Guerrero. Pablo Guerrero. And we got Vladdy Guerrero. And difficult to grab this card right here. There we go. There's Gennaro Miller, 80 out of 99. That is for EA in the Marlins. And then we got Jose Fernandez, 68 out of 75. Steve Moser and the Dimebacks. I think all three of the Last Bout Mojo teams have gotten at least an autograph. Nobody wanted him, left him to the end. Alfredo Alcantara. That'll be for Sean and the Reds. Here is another Red. That's Kyle Henley. Here is Giovanni Rodriguez, 59 out of 499. That'll be for Luke and the Mets. Do we have a, do we have a fourth auto in here? We do have a fourth. And it's another Met. Two Reds, two Mets. Wilfredo Lara for Luke and the Metropolitans. That's a good question, Reza. What NFL team looks the best to me after today's games? After just today's games? Let me look at the, the scoreboard really quick. Uh, Panthers. <laughs> just kidding. Panthers against my Raiders. Panthers look like a freaking playoff team against my Raiders. Um, it's got to be the Vikings, right? Vikings are 3-0, and and they've had, their wins have been convincing. They've only played one road game, but they played the Niners, and the they, they were at Giants, but G Giants, you know, you know, the Giants are the Giants, right? But they beat the Niners at home. They were at home to Houston, and they beat them too, and both of those teams are, are considered to be, what, division winners. So that offense looks solid, and the defense looks uh, looks looks solid too. Now the other team is the Bills, and we're going to see them in action tomorrow. So we'll have to see how they look tomorrow. But I think for I think right now it's got to be the Giants, right? Or the Giants? Sorry, it's got to be. I was reading your comment. It's got to be the Vikings for now. Like Chiefs have been winning, but you know, not. You know, they're not, which is kind of shows you how good the Chiefs are, that like they're not playing their A game and they're still winning games. But the Vikings look really good. There's Stone Russell, Royals. Jimmy with the Royals. Giants beat your Browns today. 
Yeah, I was actually on the Giants today. I didn't think they'd win, but I, I had them plus points. You know, those teams that are 0-2 backs against the wall, that's always a tricky spot for the team facing that, that 0-3 team. Uh, Stone Russell once again for Jimmy and the Bennett Lee, 256 out of 499 will go to Detroit. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. But yeah, I think a lot of 0-2 teams, maybe except the Titans, I think a lot of 0-2 teams won this week. I think the other 0 and 2 team I think are the I think the, I think the Jaguars are 0 and 2 and the Bengals are actually 0 and 2 so there's two more 0 and 2 teams that are going to be battling to Yeah I think Watson had a decent game but but I mean for the money that you guys are paying him and all the other off-field stuff that's just a complete distraction Yeah. I feel your pain. As a Raiders fan, I feel your pain, Reza. The Raiders have made a lot of bad QB decisions over the years. That's right, Gilo. I was just, I was just, I don't know if you heard me, but I was just saying, that's how good the Chiefs are. They don't, they can not play their A game and still manage to win ball games. That's just how good they are. So it's going to be scary if they ever really get into to gear. There's Darling Fernandez. That's going to be for Tristan and the A's. And did I see some red here? Yeah. Red wave. Out of five. Jose Castro. Five out of five. That's going to be Aaron with the Yankees here in Pick Your Team 20. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And we got a Miles Naylor, 135 out of 150. And that's going to be for Tristan and the A's. All right. 12th and final box in the next video. After this video, we're going to do that randomizer for the Otani. So if you've been in any of these breaks, 1 through 20, you know, then definitely stay tuned. Here is Wayner Luciano. Steve with the Astros. There's a Yaikel Miharis for Jimmy and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. And yeah, this is the final auto. It is Byron Ledesma. 116 out of 499. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the break. Uh, pick your team 20 in the books. Thanks, everybody. I don't know if we're going to have any more. I don't, didn't see any more HT in the back, but we may get some more. So keep your eye out, for, eye out for that. Or maybe even hobby versions. I don't think we did very many hobby versions, if at all, on this side. So maybe you'll start seeing some of that. So keep your eyes peeled for more Bowman Chrome Baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.